My name is Valerie Berkey and I am the chair of the chemistry department. And um, since the pandemic started, we have been dealing with challenges both in terms of our courses, uh, because they're very content driven and um, there's a lot of problem solving involved, um, as well as problems with our labs. Um, we want to be able to give students hands-on experience, um, but how do we do that when it's not possible to do things the way they've always been done? To address many of these challenges, we knew it was going to take a lot of little changes that required flexibility and cooperation and coordination, um, both within the department and outside of that. Um, our faculty were very flexible, whether that means scheduling and making last minute changes of what day they were going to teach a particular lab because we needed another section for students living on campus, for example. Um, we made changes with textbooks um, because one particular publisher had better online content that we thought that the students would, would really benefit from. This semester we had the opportunity to offer more in-person labs, which has required a lot of coordination to accommodate social distancing, we needed to run our labs at half capacity. And so rather than using the typical four hours, uh, we cut our labs down to two hour chunks so that half the students can attend for the first shift and then the second shift. Um, so this meant making changes to the experiments that we carried out. So we really had to think about what do we want our students to experience? What are the skills and techniques we want them to learn? and why, and then how do we accomplish that in the most efficient and effective way. Um, and we also had to acknowledge the fact that students have been out of lab for a year, and so they have a lot of skills to make up for, and so trying to think about how we could help the students to build in their abilities instead of just throwing them into something really challenging. There are physical barriers uh, between the lab spaces. We switched rooms to be able to better accommodate students. We also wanted to save time in lab by creating um, pre-lab videos that students would watch before lab. We have cameras all over the labs trying to film us carrying out different techniques. I have my action cam that I have strapped to my head sometimes as I'm trying to, to demonstrate a particular technique. Um, so anything that we can do to prepare our students ahead of time so that when they're in lab, they are maximizing their time there. Okay, you don't want to go super hard to crack the salt plate, but just make sure it's not going to slide. So throughout all of this, there have been a lot of little changes, a lot of little steps that we tried to make. Um, and throughout it all, we try to be very transparent with our students. Um, we let them see us as human. Um, we let them know that we're struggling with this, that we are working hard to improve what their experience is, and that we're making mistakes along the way as well. Um, it's been really helpful that we've been able to support each other. It's required so much flexibility, so much cooperation, um, but I am so proud to be part of this department. I feel so lucky to be part of the chemistry department um, because it's a good bunch of people to work with.